load the datum example file example data.tdm in order to follow this tutorial. The easiest way to explore what chart you want to use for your data is to use the chart wizard. In the data portal, select the channel group example. Activate the report panel. Click on the report group bar chart wizard and a special cursor appears. Click on the upper left of an empty report worksheet, approximately 10% away from the left and top, and then drag the cursor to about 10% of the distance from the bottom right and release the mouse button. A 2D axis system object will be added to the report worksheet, and the chart wizard dialog will appear. Begin by choosing a diagram type of line, and then hover the mouse over the subtype graphical options on the right. Choose the subtype option lines with several Y axes and then click the next button. The sequence that follows for assigning channels will yield the most direct result and the minimum of steps. If any channels are already assigned under the curves list, then use the X button to delete them. Click the plus new entry button. Select the RPM, torque, and power channels from the channel group example and then drag and drop them into the add curves dialog y channels channel input control select the time channel from the channel group example and then drag and drop it into the add curves dialog x channel channel input control click the add curves dialog ok button when finished click the chart wizard next button to continue to the next step Select the Curves tab if it isn't shown. The last column on the right of the curves list is labeled Y axis. This allows you to assign each curve to a particular Y axis location, left, right, second left, or second right. Set each one to left. Explore the other tabs by clicking on them and observing the options. You can, for example, change the axis scaling from linear to logarithmic, assign custom axis labels, and format the axis colors. When finished browsing, click the Finish button. The Chart Wizard doesn't cover all of the report chart options, but it does a great job of allowing you to visually explore chart types. We want the Y axis set up as N Systems Linear. Double click in the center of the report page. The curve and axis definition dialog will appear. Click on the axis position tab and then under axis system, click on end systems. Click the preview button to see the report worksheet update with your selection. Browse the other tabs to see the other possible changes you can make. When done browsing, click the OK button. Reports are normally generated and then exported to a PDF file, image file, HTML document, or even a PowerPoint file. It is important to have the page layout configured properly prior to export. Access the report, settings menu and choose layout setup, layout parameters. Click on the worksheet tab, set the orientation to landscape. Set the page size to letter. Click the OK button when finished. Next, we will customize the report, adding a logo and a title. Resize the 2D axis object by clicking on the object and then grabbing the upper corner and dragging down until sufficient room is left for a logo at the upper left and a title in the top middle. Resize anything else that may be required for your layout. Click on the report, Graphics group bar, and select the option Load Graphic. Select the dummy.jpg image file. You could choose your own logo at this point. Drag the graphic to the upper left corner of the worksheet. Resize it if necessary. Double click on the image, and in the graphic dialog, check the checkbox labeled Embed Graphic in Layout when saving. 
This option is important because you may want to be able to transfer your report layout to someone, or you don't want the graphic link to get lost because the source image is moved or deleted. Next, we will add a custom title to the report. Click on the report group bar text and choose the comment option. Position the cursor over the top left of the report and drag and drop to the lower left to create a box area to hold the title. Try to align the left and right corners of the common object with the chart left and right axis. Double click in the center of the common object and the comment dialog will appear. In the text input area, enter the text engine text. Click the preview button and observe the change to the report. Under alignment, change the horizontal to center and the vertical to center. Change the font size to eight. Click on the frame tab and set the line color to no color. Click the preview button again, then the OK button to accept the changes. You may now export this report to several different file formats, including the PDF, image, XPS, HTML, PowerPoint, and even the Windows clipboard. From the report menu, choose File, Export. When exporting a report worksheet, if you choose a PDF or PowerPoint file and it already exists, you will be given the choice to overwrite or append the report. Generating reports from multiple data files and appending them as either a PDF or PowerPoint file enables you to generate a report with data from multiple files. 